Hi out there in LDA land. It's your favorite friend, Agent K. And I'm getting ready for my cruise. I know it's months away, but as a big girl, I have to try to plan accordingly. So the first thing I wanted to show you is what's thus far in my cruise to go bag. So what is a cruise to go bag? It's just, I have a cruise to go bag of what I need for my cruise. And I also have on my normal, my emergency bag. So my emergency bag, and, and if you, if I be quiet and let you listen, it has aspirin in there. So my emergency bag and my cruise to go bag are quite similar. And they have things that I know that I'm gonna need so that I don't have to pay extra money on the cruise ship or out in the street and get fleece for that. And on the cruise ship, you will get fleece. I have seen antiperspirant, um, deodorant go for $14 for the small thing. It's not even full size for the small thing. And I have seen toothbrushes and toothpastes going for even more. Now, in my to-go bag, this is my emergency to-go bag. And my emergency to-go bag it's full of things that I know I need. So my toothbrush and my toothbrush is not in here or any of that stuff. This is things that I'm going to be like, oh, is in my in my carry on. I'll put this in my excursion bag and keep on walking because you never know what you're going to need. So, all right, this is not complete. So there's a couple of things that are missing. One thing that is missing is my band-aids. I don't have my band-aids in there like I do in my everyday to go back. I don't have the eye drops, which I should show you what the eye drops look like. They're very cute. So the eye, excuse that they open so you know I've been using them. The eye drops are from Allergen and it's called Refresh Octave Mega 3. So it comes 10 little or 10 little droppers oh and it's five two two trays of five which look like this right and it comes in this little plastic bag um plastic case there's three of them in the box i got them from amazon it's the best investment I ever did because all I have to do is open the box, take one of these baggies out, put it in to, to go back. So I have one here in the house. I got one that's going to go into my cruise bag and I have one right here in my regular to go bag. So just to show you what it is, look how big my bag is. It's a big bag. <laughs> so the couple of things that are not in my regular to-go bag. Number one, this is my thermometer. I figured I'm going to take my temperature like I do at home every day and just to make sure I'm on the healthy spectrum. I do that. It's just, an, just something that I do. To go with that, I have my, my um, finger oxy, oxen, oxygen meter and... I also have K9, KN95 masks. And there's only a few of them in here. I will be putting more masks in my, in my bag. So one of the things that I have, because I anticipate myself uh, drinking more and different things that I, ha I don't drink at home, is that I grabbed a handful of emergency. So emergency is in my bag. Um, that's to help with the um, dehydration that you may experience. I also have medicine in here, which is Alka-Seltzer Plus. I cannot take anything but Alka-Seltzer Plus uh, because of the diabetes, it, it raises it up. So this is my medicine. If I get the bubblies, I got regular Alka-Seltzer here. So the blue is 
the regular and the gold is fast acting I have disinfection disinfecting wipes that I got from Fab Fit Fun Box I love these wipes I wish I can find them in the store I got and also from the Fab Fit Fun Box Poo Potpourri for the bathroom as I told you, I have Tylenol. Full bottle of Tylenol is that. And I have Neosporin. So, as you know, the Band-Aid's got to come in here too. Also, my to-go bag has pockets on the side. So, in the pockets, I have stuff as well. So, I have Takaway. This is for my sensor. When I take the sensor off, it leaves a residue on my skin, so I use this to rub it off because I have found soap and water do not work all the time. I also have alcohol swabs in case I get a cut and I want to clean it before I put the Neosporin and the Band-Aid on. Yes, I'm packing Band-Aids. Like I said, a first aid kit on board can be expensive when I was on Norwegian and I fell and cracked my toenail, it was $1.50 for one Band-Aid. So I'm packing Band-Aids. Um, so I'm also packing the alternative to the tack away. And this is called, this is st skin tack white. I'll bring it closer. So because I have a sensor and I don't want to put a cover over the sensor, I I rub this on my skin before I put the sensor on and it helps the sensor to stick. So far, so good. Haven't had any issues with that. So I got a couple of those in here. And then obviously I have the last thing in my pockets, which is my forever faithful lens tech wipes. This is what I use on everything. Um, I clean my laptop with it, this very phone I'm recording on, uh, anything that is electronic and I have to take pictures with, I clean this with. So I always ca carry a couple of those because I'm not sure if I'm going to bring the um, tablet with me. Um, some people I know who go on cruises, they bring their fire stick with them. I am thinking about bringing the tablet, but I'm not quite sure about the um, connection. Connection issues is, 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 is running through my head on how that's going to work out. So right now the tablet is on the maybe list and just carry the um, phone because I, I intend to take video of my experience because this is 11 day cruise. This is also during a pandemic. So I want to see, I want to document what it is and how it is to be on such a long cruise during that time. I mean, you've seen, I'm sure many of you have seen the seven-day cruise videos or the five-day cruise videos or the staycation cruise videos. This is going to be one of the first, I think it's like the second or third um, cruise, that long cruise that is going to be leaving from the United States. And that's 11 days. Whew! So, to my seaport that I'm leaving out of, which is Cape Liberty and Bayonne, um, the Oasis from Royal Caribbean rant um, is still, it should be coming in tomorrow. Today's the 27th. Tomorrow's the 28th. No, excuse me. It should be coming in two days because today's the 26th um, or the 25th. The days are starting to meld together. Anyway, they did a six-day cruise starting on the 22nd from Bayonne on the Oasis of the Seas, which is a beautiful ship. Um, 
and we're going and we're supposed to see how that goes right now my ship is still overseas so there's a good chance um prior to me the prior to the cruise prior to mine that anthem is going to be in the ocean for 14 days quarantining before taking on guests so we're gonna see how that works out it's kind of interesting with this ship because usually I was looking at the schedule of um, how this ship is running because there was a thought in my head well maybe I can do this for Valentine's Day but then I said why do I want to be alone on Valentine's Day when everybody's kissy 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 that's okay <laughs> so um I was looking at the uh, uh, schedule and it looks like it leaves on a Sunday, it comes back into New York on a Thursday, and then it returns and then it moves again on a Sunday. So it looks like Friday and Saturday are the days that they actually are doing like a deep cleaning of the ship, fingers crossed, which I believe that's what they're doing, do a deep cleaning of the ship and... um basically get ready for the next ship that is totally different for me because usually there are people getting off the ship and then they do a quick turnover and that same day there's people getting on the ship so this is a total different you know thing that they're doing now and it's interesting to me and I think that documenting everything would be awesome and also give you guys an idea of what it's like to take a longer cruise. But that's where I'm at right now. So getting ready is is going to be a little a little adventure and I'm hoping to take you guys with me. Um I'll speak to you soon. Bye.